In this video, we're going over my secret methods on how to dress to be more attractive. It's three key points that I call chameleon effect, the IRL algorithm hack, and the polarize method. And anyone can use these to get more girls or boys. And no, this isn't some TikTok fashion advice. It actually comes from a couple of articles I stumbled across while doom scrolling, as well as an insane revelation that I had the other day while in the shower. I guess I should go take a shower. Why? Because I always get my best ideas when I'm wet. And trust me, this makes complete sense. By the end, your mind will be blown. So let's get it. First, what is the chameleon effect? Now this is actually a psychological phenomenon. It's when people copy someone else's movements, body language, tone of voice, or actions without even thinking about it. This action makes them like you more because copying someone's movements can make them feel more comfortable, understood, and connected to you. It's also known as mirroring. As you can see here, we got Carl Jung, famous psychologist, legendary psychologist. Then we got the allegory of the cave, yes sir. Then we got Maslow's, hierarchy pyramid and then we got the mirroring the mirroring effect the mirroring effect but you might be thinking this doesn't relate to fashion at all what is bro talking about the trick here is that you can use the same logic of the chameleon effect and apply it to the way that you dress to make someone like you more bros use this to make the huzz like him back to explain even more let me bring up this article by days magazine in the article a professor of psychology at indiana university states that aesthetic preferences give a world of information about that person. It says that they even went as far as to say that opposites do not attract and that an accurate perception of the true level of similarity, including aesthetic similarity with a potential mate is important. This relates to when you see a couple, more often than not, they're gonna have the same aesthetic or vibe. Then the article goes even further with an example of Mika, a 26 year old in Indianapolis. She says that the fact that her boyfriend Spencer didn't have a fish photo in his dating profile was enough of an aesthetic draw. She says that she saw the Supreme sweater and knew that was the energy she wanted in the relationship. She also says that your aesthetic reflects who you are internally and that her and her boyfriend usually stay on the same page. Now this is literal proof that mirroring works. Now this example was on a dating app, so bro used the chameleon effect without knowing it, but that's how attraction works. And you might be thinking, aren't these just random examples in a fashion magazine? What do they even know? Well, if you're still not convinced, boom, let me reveal the ace up my sleeve. This is like when you're fighting a final boss and right as he gets right below half health, he gets a random power up that makes him twice as strong. Now, according to a census.gov study in 2022, it showed that about 19% of married opposite sex couples are interracial. So that means that 81% of the time people date and marry within their race. This could be because of multiple reasons, but I think it's safe to say that one of them is because of familiarity and similar interests. So if we use that same chameleon effect logic that I stated before, you can use this knowledge to basically become more attractive to your type. And boom, this is where my second point comes in, the IRL algorithm hack. Now, the reason I'm calling it this is because think about any social media algorithm. Your algorithm is tailored to what you like because the app wants you to stay on it as long as possible. So all you have to do is use the chameleon effect to mirror the algorithm that your type likes, or in simpler terms, turn yourself into your type's type. For example, let's say your type is basic white girls. All you have to do is turn yourself into... Cause I got my jocks from Amsterdam. If your type is Latinas, all you have to do is If your type is Asians, just Now this might sound silly, but it's like a game of chess, right? You got to think two steps ahead. You, you know, maybe maybe Nick Akato was onto something all along. Now if you're thinking, wait, isn't isn't this kind of weird though, right? Like isn't that kind of kind of borderline predator vibes? Just be yourself, bro. Now I'm going to address the just be yourself MFs. But before I do, I just gotta say, this is literally the same thing these MFs are doing when they join run clubs to find a girlfriend. All you're doing is mirroring the interests of the girl that you like. And MFs have literally been doing this for ages. It's like when you lie to the girl that you like about how much you love Taylor Swift just so you can get some play. OMG, no way, you you love Taylor Swift too? What? No way, you're a Virgo too? Wow, we have so much in common. Let's This method has been around since the dawn of time 
and that's because it works. It's literally psychology chat. It's, it's just mirroring. It's quite literally a science-based term. Like I'm not even trying to clickbait you. And back to the just be yourself propaganda, saying just be yourself is equivalent to saying that everyone's a 10. The reason why that and this advice sucks is because if everyone's a 10, then that means there's no need for improvement, which just gets you nowhere because obviously if everyone's a 10 and just being yourself worked, then people wouldn't have a problem finding a girlfriend or boyfriend. Hey, the first step to actually changing is making a change to yourself to improve. And the goal of this video isn't to tell you which specific style is best or most attractive. It's to point out that you can actually dress to be more attractive. But if you're thinking, wait, isn't attractiveness subjective though? It is, but it also isn't. Let me explain. It is because everyone has their own preferences. The hardest choices require the strongest wills. But it isn't because being healthy is objectively more attractive than being unhealthy. That's literally how survival of the fittest and evolution worked. There is a direct correlation between being healthy and being attractive. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into that right now, but just take a look at skincare or an attractive physique. It's self-explanatory. But this brings me to my third key point, polarization. As I said before, everyone has their own preferences. We can see in today's age of social media, the rise of aesthetics, cores, all that good stuff. This is a result of human nature wanting to fit into a group to survive. We love classifying everything. Another example from the previous article states, across social media, people proudly state that they only date within their aesthetic and don't settle for less. They point to matching manicures and outfits as the reason why it's worth breaking free from the goth girlfriend finance bro stereotype online. Some people claim to have found the complimentary, introverted, gay English teacher boyfriend to their nanocore, <laughs> male manipulator Vivian Westwood girlfriend, crazy, while others have manifested their dark academia boyfriend. None of these words are in the Bible. Wow. Most concerning, perhaps, are the cottagecore couples who swear they were born in the wrong time or single people longing for black cat or Hufflepuff boys. Now, when I first read this, I was like, wow society is cooked because what does that even mean but when i read it again i took note of the line people proudly state that they only date within their aesthetic and don't settle for less this is exactly what i'm getting at chat when you do the IRL algorithm hack and shift your style to mirror a different one you are polarizing your attraction meaning the less people are going to find you attractive but the ones that do are going to find you more attractive than they did before because of the mirroring. Does that make sense? I think a good example is think of political parties, right? If you're undecided, you're you're in the middle, you're, you're like pretty neutral. Overall, people might like you, but no one's particularly gonna love you. But if you switch to a Democrat, all of a sudden, all the other Democrats are gonna like you more and all the other Republicans are gonna hate you. Now, I'm not trying to bring up politics because we're talking about more important matters here, right? Like uh, which aesthetic I should switch to, convert to, to get a goth girlfriend. But the point is, this is just an example of how using this method can be super polarizing. So there is pros and cons here. It's literally a high risk, high reward play. Uh, it's up to you to determine if it's worth it. But in the name of love, Mr. Take the Risk, I don't know, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. So now it's clear that you can finesse your way into becoming more attractive by becoming your type's type. All you gotta do is work backwards, figure out what your type is, then do some data research analysis to figure out what their type is and just slowly take bits and pieces from it until you're their type. Boom, it's like a science-based game of chess, but with mirroring, all for the name of love. In the name of love, in the name of love. You got this gang, take that risk in the name of love. And if you wanna learn my three secret methods to getting trendy clothes for cheap, click the video here.